All right, so this is the game that we're gonna be watching. All right, so pay attention to um, my hand. This is my hands. All right. I skip around uh, since I got no cars from my plant. So here, like I drew a lot of cars for my plants. I'm, go I'm gonna use all of it just because I'm anticipating that they're gonna try kill my plant this round. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I anticipate correctly. All right, so they can't kill my uh, plant, can't break my shield. So I decide to, um, you know, gain some energies. Do not focus on their hands, just focus on my hand. So here, all right, I got a Tober Treat and I also got this guy's. When, no, no, actually, my bad. I have a Tober Treat and I have Vegetable Bite, okay? So Vegetable Bite, steal one energy from your opponent when you combo with another car. So that means that you have to combo this car with this car, this car with this car, or this car with this car, okay? So I'm going to do October Tree and Vegetable Bites. What I'm trying to do is um, I'm trying to stall as long as I can before they could kill my plant so that I could get some energies uh, for my uh, fishes. Um, if you notice, I started going on aggressive uh, with the Aqua Fish. You need to use the combo Risky Fish with Star Shurigan. Risky Fish should always play um, before you play Star Shurigan. All right, so, or you could set it up for uh, the next attack. What you, could, what you can do is, um, here I, I'm doing Tail Slap with Risky Fish. For this one over here, I'm doing Risky Fish with Hero Bang. Uh, Risky Fish, when attack like a plant, reptile, dust, you gain more damage. Uh, your next skill is gonna hit, like, hit more. So let's play this, all right? So look, right here, I gain an energy, all right? And then also, it raised my attack. You see the sword up here? It raised my attack. When I play Nemo with another car, I gain an energy front, okay? So let's go. And then here, there, I boost my next attack, and there. And then again, they're trying to kill my plant. They can't kill my plant. And I'm gonna steal energy, okay? You have to count energies too. This is some, all right, so there, I killed it. Now I could sacrifice my plant and I could go all in for the aqua fish. Uh, the best thing that you could do is to make sure you play tail slap. You have to look at the battle sequence too. One, two, three, four. If you notice, I get attacked first. So one, two. So the watch. So I decide to um, go with this combo. Just for, you know, it doesn't really matter how you put this as long as you put risk. Yeah, I guess Aqua doesn't really matter. And then there, I killed it. And then they're gonna try to kill my plant. Instead, they put it into last stand. See, so what happened is like, okay, Last stand, like if there's like a little small HP, for example, 34 HP, and then they use Mr. Rush to uh, attack that, well, the chance of me going to last stand is very high. So what they should have done was uh, maybe do allergic reaction or Mr. Uh, yeah, allergic reaction, okay? So now they're in a tough situation. They're gonna have to try and kill my um, my whole team. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice my um, Plant, and there we go. Now all I have to do is just burst it. Okay, so most likely here I'm gonna go um, with all type of burst. Okay, so I'm able to do, use eight cars just because I saved my energy energies correctly. Now they're in big trouble. So let's see what happened here. They're not gonna survive my attack at all because I um, I did pretty well with. Uh, keeping my energies up for this round and that's pretty much it all right all 
All right, so let's discuss about uh, the combo. All right, so Goldfish is, uh, it can be played offensive or defensive. For the apply speed to activate, the Aqua Fish need to be attacked by other axes. For every one attack, it gain a plus speed for two rounds, okay? So how does this card work? This card only work when this axe is defending. For example, if their axe attack this axe and this axe uh, using goldfish, well, they get plus speed for every time uh, it get attack. Okay. So let's look at risky fish. Risky fish apply attack to this axe attacking plant, reptile, or dust targets. So basically, when you use risky fish, the next attack get a little extra boost. Um, against plant, reptile, or dust. So when you go against a plant, dust, or reptile, make sure you use risky fish first. Um, or uh, third card or the fourth card. Okay, so we'll talk about some combo right now. Um, when one of my favorite combo is risky fish and orenda, uh, just because orenda do a lot of damage, it do 120 damage. Risky fish, uh, when it attack a plant, reptile, or dust, right? Well, the next attack, which is Arenda, you're gonna deal more damage, okay? Instead of 120, it could be 140, it could be 145. The damage output is just gonna be bigger, okay? So, the reason why you only wanna use Risky Fish with Arenda, unless you can't draw Arenda or you you uh, use Arenda like too soon, um, is because risky fish help Orenda do the most damage. You could do risky fish with goldfish, risky fish with koi, risky fish with risky fish, but it's not going to output uh, big damage when you use risky fish with Orenda. So my thing is uh, save your risky fish and your Orenda, and just use these two together all the time. Um, since you're new, or whoever plays this account. Just uh, here's a good combo uh, that you could use. If you have just a one card of each, you could go with uh, Koi, Goldfish, Risky Fish, and Orenda. Just make sure that Risky Fish and Orenda get played together, and they always could be the third and the fourth card. Goldfish and Koi, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Um, all right. So let's say that you're defending. And you're going against, and you're defending against an aqua that is faster than you. Well, the best way to put yourself ahead of that aqua fish is sometimes. And um, let's say that you survive that attack. Let uh, the best way to do it is you go koi and goldfish. Okay, just those two energies, uh, those two cards. All right, you don't have to play four cards because you're defending. Um, you could play four cards to. Uh, Add more shields but let's say that they're also in a situation where like they need to go first uh, to kill you but if you play koi and goldfish the chance of you going first is high and then you know you could go with uh, koi and orenda or whatever uh, cars you draw next to finish the uh, the axi okay All right, so this is going to be a quick review of the Nemo uh, Aquafish. All right, so Nemo plus Nemo is always a good combo because it costs zero energies and plus you gain two um, energies. Remember, in this game, uh, you need to have energies advantage, cards advantage. And you need to count cards. You need to count your opponent energies to play very well. These are stuff that you'll learn once you get used to playing the game, but. Right now, I'm just teaching you the basic of the combo. Again, uh, there's really nothing difference between uh, this aqua fish and the other aqua fish. All right, so let's um, take a look at the combo. All right, tail slap will always uh, be play first unless you go against the terminator. That is something that you will learn how to uh, use Nemo. So let's go with Nemo, Goldfish, Risky Fish. And show star okay now you don't have orenda on this fish you have show star show star is um, 115 right it's the biggest uh, damage output on this axi so when you go against reptile dust or uh, plant 
You want to use uh, Risky Fish first plus Shoal Star. Risky Fish needs to be combo with a car. Risky Fish apply attack when attacking plant, reptile, or dust. The apply attack only apply to next attack. All right. So that means that, you know, again, I'm being very comp repetitive. You use Risky Fish and then you use Shoal Star. So let's say that you have four cars and one of each. Down here is probably the best way to use this combo. Nemo, Goldfish, Risky Fish, Shoal Star. Let's say that um, you draw um, against a plant, you draw like uh, two, uh, two Nemo's and a Risky Fish. Well, what you could do is Nemo, Nemo, Risky Fish on the plant, and then your next attack, uh, you'll get a boost. So let's say that next round you you draw like a goldfish and another risky fish. Well, you could just skip that round and wait until you get a show start, okay? Unless you decide you want to hit with another risky fish, go ahead. But usually what I do in that situation, if I'm uh, in a situation where I can pass, I'll pass. And I'll wait for this show start to uh, come through. And then if that show start comes through, I'll use it to attack first. Or I could go with risky fish again and show start. It all depends on the situation. Uh, with the aqua, aqua plant, your um, your uh, game plan is pretty simple. You use your uh, plant to generate as much energies as you can. You also use your uh, Nemo fish to g generate uh, energies, or you could go even like for example Nemo and Whiskey fish uh, to set up for the next round. It's really all how you play uh, the card game or uh, Axie Infinity. Um, I'm gonna make this a 10 minute video and hopefully you learn uh, real quick. We could also look at the plant. Um, the plant, like, okay, so let's pull out the plant. This is the account that you'd be playing. So, Okay, so the bad part about this plant is the speed is a little bit high. When I bought this plant, like I'm just new to the game, so you know I didn't think too much about the plant speed and uh, the health. Okay, the morale is 41. Uh, okay, so let's go. So now we're looking at the cars. Okay, pumpkin, serious, carrot, leaf bug. If you look at leaf bug, it says gain one energy when combo with a plant car. So you have three cards to combo with this leaf bug. Never play this card alone, okay? If you're gonna die, just just might as well get used to it and just die and not use this card at all. Reason why is because if you start using this card like by itself, you're gonna have a you're gonna build a bad habit of just playing leaf bug. So the best thing um, with this uh, plant is that when you play combo, you play serious leaf bug, okay? So what happened here is you have a chance to seal one of your opponent um, energy when you combo with another car. Leaf bug, when you combo with a plant, you gain one energy card. So there's a opportunity of gaining two energy cards, but you are guaranteed with one energy. Now let's look at pumpkin, okay, and carrot. The thing about pumpkin and carrot, I try my best not to play these two cards together unless I'm trying trying to stack shields to survive. If I'm just trying to survive by uh, against a beast and I stack these two cards uh, together, it doesn't matter. If this shield break, I gain, I gain a car. No, if this shield break, I gain um, an energy, all right? Because 140 shield, if it break, I gain energy. If the shield do not break, well, guess what? I gain a car. That's the reason why you don't want to play these two cards together unless you have no choice and you're and you're trying to survive against a beast or something with a lot of damage, okay? So October Tree, you could always play this on first round. What I like to do with Pumpkin is I always like to play with play a first round with Leaf Bug just in case they decide to go all, all, 
all out on, um, on round one. For example, if they have a beast and they draw three cards, for example, Ronin, Ronin Imp, you know, they're going to kill your um, Axie, okay? Especially your plant. And if they go something like Nutcracker, Nutcracker, and Ronin, like that still do deal a lot of damage. So you're going to have to um, just play one pumpkin in the early game just to have a f feeling what's going to happen next. Now let's look at Carrot. You gain one energy if this shield break. So the thing is, like once you get better, you need to start timing where you think they're going to uh, break this shield. And then once you, uh, if you guess correctly, then when you play one carrot with one leaf bug, well, guess what? You know, they break your shield, you gain one car, and then you, you go, you attack them for 70, 90 together, and you also gain an energy here. So it all depends how you want to play this. You go always play serious carrot, serious pumpkin or serious leaf bug if you have four cars the best way to play um, is serious serious or serious serious leaf bug leaf bug it doesn't really matter but just make sure that the pumpkin and the carrot do not play together unless you looking to survive um, for the next round all right thank you for watching um, I'm hoping that just watching one game and me and breaking down three of the axes. Um, hopefully this will help anybody that's looking to uh, start their adventure in Axie Infinity. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe for more video content.